Like I just changed my mindset of whether I read it on Audible, Kindle, or a physical book, it is reading. Okay, if y'all don't stop falling on me, I'm gonna freak out. Getting a random hive on my hand, so that's a good time. Well, hello, I am Erica. I am on. I'm on my way to the bookstore. I promise this entire vlog is not in the car again. I have been insanely busy lately, as I've talked about for the past few vlogs. Everything's still going well. It's just meetings on meetings and work on work on work on work on work on work on work. So today is the first day I've really kind of had. To don't have to go run errands for this thing right now. So I'm going to, you guessed it, the bookstore before they close. What time is it? I guess I always work a little bit late today. But that's fine. We're gonna go to the bookstore because I don't have enough books. <laughs> no. So me and my best friend that I visited with last week decided to, we're kind of like book buddies. We haven't really read any books together sort of at the same time though. But I was talking to her last week. I'm like, yeah, I'm slowly working through book it because it's 45 hours long and it's so much information intake. I honestly like usually get through a chapter and then I'm like, okay, I, that's enough. I can't keep reading this. This is a lot of information. I need to digest what I was just given. I am finishing up the series, You. I'm on the last book. I need a little bit of a break from Joe. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I love the You series, but I'm like, Joe is me off so bad. <laughs> so I'm still reading that though, but she and I were talking and she's like, you know, I think I'm gonna start Akatar the Akatar series. And I was like, well, I downloaded it back in October. Like I bought, I bought the series on my Kindle and I just like never got around to reading it. I don't know why I think I, that's another time that I just got really busy, but she was like, how about we start it together? So I've been reading it with the audiobook because it is a very like large series. And while I think I can do it, it just takes me a little bit longer, but I want to be able to like keep up and discuss with her as we move through the series. So I do have the audiobooks to help me kind of just like get through the book. Cause I'm dyslexic and I just have a slower reading pace than her and that's totally fine. She never judges me for it cause she loves me. But we have started A Court of Thorns and Roses. I'm entering the universe. I know I am significantly late to the game, but so far I really like it. I think I'm on chapter seven-ish. So I'm gonna go get the first book and then I think I saw on their website, cause it's a little indie bookstore but they have their own website. I think I saw like a couple other ones in the series are on sale. So I'm gonna see what that's all about. But I'm excited to go to this bookstore. Y'all know I love this bookstore. And then I have to return a bunch of fabric to Joann's. So yeah, that's the plan. Today is like the last somewhat decent day. It's like 78 out. I'm in jeans cause it wasn't 78 when I left, but it is now. But yeah, I wanted to do this trip before I'm about to be just locked in a house trying to beat the heat this whole next week. Oh my God, it's gonna be horrible. But yeah, I'm gonna keep listening to my audiobook as I drive there and I'll see you guys there. Okay, there's literally so many people. It's kind of crazy. I think there's like this witch and wizard thing happening at the local theater. But I did find parking in the back of the bookstore, so that's good. I just spent way too much time in there because me and the girls got to talking. I know pretty much all the cashiers there now because <laughs> I go there so often. But we got to talking about Akatar and Throne of Glass. I didn't know that Throne of Glass came first or like it was published first, but it's like a, that's a long series. So they did recommend me starting Akatar first and then getting into Throne of Glass and then Crescent City, which makes sense. They're always so cool. And we were talking about all of that. And then I figured out what was going on because I was like, what is happening? they had wizard stuff up too. It was like a Harry Potter themed like wizardry thing going on in the town. So a bunch of like little kids had like chocolate wands running around and like adults were in like full cosplay. I only saw one or two people in cosplay when I first came in, but the more people like filtered in, the more I was like, oh no, this is clearly Harry Potter.
Potter. So that's like a fun little thing that they were doing. They were having trivia for like chocolate frogs and stuff. I just think it's a really nice way to get the kids in the community to just like have some summer fun. You know what I mean? It was such a cute little idea, but so crowded in there. I'm usually like the only person in there whenever I go because I go during the week, but like it's a weekend. And it's like that bookstore is small. So when there's a lot of people in there, it's very small, but they, they and I literally just talked for a half an hour. So, oh, I did get it by the way. She's cute. I got her. Hey. Everybody see me okay? This is the best I could do with lighting and I could not take out a ring light. Couldn't bring myself to do it because I am leaving in a little bit. But I wanted to end this vlog with the mid-year book tag. I've never done this before because I haven't really talked about reading before. As much as I have on my YouTube this year, I really started getting back into my physical, like, like my physical reading journey this past year and this year. In 2023 it started and has carried over and I've just really fallen in love with with reading again. I've used Audible since like 2018-ish and I used that to get through like a lot of books. I read one or two physical books. I remember like I read Mamie Hart's book. That was one physical book I read but because of my dyslexia and because of like my trauma going through the school system as a neurodivergent student, I was like I will never be able to physically read. So it was just audiobooks for me but I was like oh, I'll never be able to like physically read books. Like I just had, I was stuck in this mentality and then I decided one day in 2023 like I'm just gonna start I'm not gonna make any goal I'm just gonna read what looks interesting to me like I just changed my mindset of whether I read it on audible Kindle or a physical book it is reading changing my mindset really like opened up so many paths for me as far as reading and I've gotten into a lot of really great authors a lot of great series so so I want to do the mid-year book review uh, I know I'm a little bit late to the game it's because I took last week off because I'm avoiding burnout but I have the questions right here I got the questions off of Larry's YouTube channel at Larry Reads. I love her. She's just hilarious. Let's get started with the questions. Best book I've read so far in 2024. I'm like so torn, but it is probably A Court of Thorns and Roses. We saw me literally start this series in this vlog. So I have four hours and 22 minutes left of this book. I am reading it on Audible and I'm reading it on my Kindle. Like I'll do that a lot with all of my books. It really helps me move through a series. Little tip for anybody else that's dyslexic. Really helps me get through a series. I am on chapter 35 of Akatar and I have to say I really enjoy it. It's definitely a grown-up Beauty and the Beast. 100% grown-up Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> like I'm falling off my bed. Okay. If y'all don't stop falling on me, I'm gonna freak out. Okay, everything's falling apart. It's fine. I don't want to give too many spoilers because me and my best friends are actually reading this at the same time. I will say I'm farther ahead than them just because I listen to it on Audible and my job allows me to listen to audiobooks while I'm working, but also they are much faster readers than me. <laughs> so I feel pretty okay with like moving ahead in the series, which again, super secret project. My life's about to become very busy. I don't know how much time I'll have for reading, but I still want to be able to keep up with them as they continue through the series. So I'm kind of okay with being ahead because they're faster readers than me and then I want to like stay up to date so that we can all talk about the books. Yeah, it's really, really good though. And I'm like so excited that we're all reading it together. But definitely like Grown Up Beauty and the Beast. And that's what I'll say. I also have the claws coming out of the top because of yeah, you guys know. The best sequel you've read so far in 2024. Excellent question. The best sequel I've read so far is You Love Me. It is the third book in the You series. Hidden Bodies was technically the sequel to the first You book. Hello, hi. This was the third book, so technically it's not like the immediate sequel, but whatever. This one was so insane. And like the last 100 pages had my jaw on the floor the entire time. I couldn't believe everything that was happening and unfolding and going down. I was like, are you actually kidding me. Is this really, like, this is insane. This definitely was by far my favorite sequel because Hidden Bodies also, it had a lot of detail for, like, I get that it was world building and had to, like, establish a lot, but this one kind of got more straight to the point. Wild Ride. Highly suggest the series just so you can get to that book, honestly. Like, they're all good, but wow. New releases you haven't read yet, but want to. Yes, okay. One book that I want to read that's been released but I haven't read yet is Home is Where the Bodies Are. It looks really fun. It's a horror type thing. So once I'm done with the You series, I think that this is really gonna be like a nice little transitional period out of that series. It just looks interesting. <sighs> I'm so congested today, guys. Don't even like, ugh. 
my god. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. I can tell you that right now. It's Daydream by Hannah Grace. I am so excited. I have read Icebreaker and Wildfire. I love them. I actually like got into romance more this year. Like I don't care. I don't even care if it's smart. Like get over it. I got into romance last year and I never liked romance books. I really don't like romance movies. I still kind of don't. I like rom-com now and then depending on who's in it. But I really got into romances and I really do put that on Hannah Grace because I didn't like anything else until I'm like, okay, maybe I should check out this one book. The book talk is all over Icebreaker. And just let me see if I like it. And like, we know that I read really intense series about like psychos. And so some of my reading can get kind of heavy and like world building and like emotional. So it's nice to read those like what would be considered smutty, fluffy romances. I don't even care. I am still predominantly a thriller and like fantasy reader, but I love reading those books in between those more intense books because it's like, I'm gonna sit down to this and everything's gonna work out. And like, you know it's gonna work out and it's great. And you just, you're just there for the ride. You enjoy the story. It's not too emotional usually, but I like it. Sue me, okay? The biggest surprise. If we're talking about an ending of a book surprise, Honestly, again, You Love Me had like the biggest surprise ending in my opinion. But if we're talking about like surprise about reading in general, it is how much I like romances. <laughs> I didn't have that in my bingo card. Favorite new author, debut or new to you? Favorite new author? Oh my God, they're all new to me. Caroline Kepnes, newest fictional crush. Excellent question. I am completely kidding. Oh my god, no. I've dated Joes. It's not worth it. Uh, but Zayden Ryerson, ladies and gentlemen, are we shocked? No. Is it a basic answer? Yeah. Is Does it make it any less valid? Nope. Zayden Ryerson. He is so cute. I love a brooding man with jet black hair. Ask about my obsession with Andy Bierstadt. I love a enemies to lovers situation. He just sounds dreamy. Though I will say I am somebody who like, <laughs> I really like short guys. I don't know if I've ever stated that on here, but I like short guys. So if Zayden Ryerson could be 5'7 or like 5'6, that would be fantastic. Thank you so much. But it is Zayden Ryerson. Yes. A book that made you cry. Got it. Obviously, obviously, obviously. Anybody that's read this, you know. And all I'll say to you, and if you have read this, is that it has been my honor and that I can't even think about it or else I start to tear up. I can't think about it. <sighs> Anyways, a book that made you happy. What an emotional roller coaster list of questions. Probably Night Shift. It's cute. It made me happy because it was just like such a give and take of characters of like he grows emotionally. She learns to step out of her comfort zone more and just like embrace who she is. I love it. And it's like circled around a bookworm. Hello. The most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received. They are are not here yet. Hi, they are releasing in September. The website, probably Smut, has a little deal or contract or whatever you want to call it with Hannah Grace where they have special covers. Well, for the pre-order of Daydream, they re-released all of the special covers of Icebreaker, Wildfire, and the one for Daydream. So as a birthday present to myself, I ended up pre-ordering all three and I had a coupon. They are the most beautiful covers I think I've ever seen on a book. They're so cute. Uh, I do know that I own the physical copies of Icebreaker breaker and wildfire. I'm just gonna take my tabs off that I've put on, put them on the new books, obviously very carefully, and then I'm going to sell my old copies because copies that I'm getting are a collector's item. And last but not least, what books do you need to read by the end of the year? The books I still have to read before the year is up, I mean I would like to finish the Akatar series before the year is up, and I think I will. I'm going to finish the You series because it's I'm on the last book already. I'm tandem reading with Akatar, but Akatar is taking up a lot of my time because I think I'm like angry with Joe. I'm just over Joe. It's like you go back because the last book ends so well that you're like, oh my god, I have to start the next one. And then you start it. And it's sort of like going back to your ex. You're like, this time it's gonna be different. This time it's gonna be great. He's the same. He sucks. Why is he like this? But it's the last book in the series so far. So I'll finish this soon. And I'm sure there'll be a few books here and there that I pick up and read along, obviously. But yes, I think that those are it. Are there any other questions? No, that's it. That's the end of the list. So... <laughs> With that being said, this was my mid-year book wrap-up, but that is it for today's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.